Well, consultations on the second basic education program for the education sector plan for 2013 to 2018 began today among stakeholders at the Multipurpose Cultural Center. Terry Andrew has more in this report. Discussions which surround the way forward for education in Antigua and Barbuda brought together a number of individuals with interest to education at heart. In 2008, the government was provided with a grant from the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, to conduct a number of studies relating to the educational system under the second basic education project. One of the key components is the development of the educational sector plan. Hired to conduct the studies were the University of the West Indies Consultant Department in Jamaica and Profiles in Tiga. Director of Education, Jacinta Pringle, highlights the importance of the second basic education program. The government of Antigua and Barbuda intends to increase school places for secondary school students and as such has entered into an agreement with the Caribbean Development Bank to build a new secondary school in Antigua, expand the secondary school in Barbuda, build a model early childhood center and a measurement and evaluation unit. Before these buildings can be built, a number of studies had to be prepared in order to guide the process. The consultants have completed their work and we are here today to comment on the work that has been prepared. These studies will therefore guide the process of education in Antigua Barbuda for the next five years. CDB is partnering with the government to make these initiatives possible. Portfolio manager at CDB, Deidre Clarendon, says the bank views education as a national priority. Clarendon adds that CDB's support to education has strategically targeted four broad areas. Increasing and broadening access to quality education, strengthening management and institutional capacity, improving efficiency and effectiveness of program delivery, and enhancing technological capacity. In support of the education reform agenda of the government, CDB's goal is to provide enabling conditions to promote participation in schooling by all students and success in learning in the end. We will continue to be an important partner in the investment in education in Antigua and Barbuda, offering financing for school construction, teacher development, enhanced management and governance of the education sector, and the active participation of parents and the wider community in the education of our young people. The educational sector plan seeks to improve the quality of education offered in the Twin Island State. The document outlines the vision for development of primary education and universal secondary education. It also caters to the need of every child so that none will be left behind. The plan also looks at increasing the number of teachers and a policy framework for regulating preschools. Terry Andrew, ABS News.